how uh, Ryan's Priebus found out about this, if he resigned, if he was fired, if he agreed to go. But this is something, Wolf, that uh, as we learn more, uh, it will be offer a window into um, really what has been a drama here, as Sarah was, uh, was reporting throughout the week. Loyal uh, allies to Ryan's Priebus have been telling us throughout the day that he is not going anywhere, that there is nothing to this story. Very close people to Ryan's Priebus have been saying there's nothing to this. Well, so they simply did not know the president was going to make this move uh, today. But it is one that has been, uh, you know, uh, in the works. We've heard rumors, uh, you know, for several months the president has grown um, not pleased with Ryan's Priebus at several points. He stopped praising him in public remarks. Earlier this week, there was that major jobs announcement in Wisconsin, the Foxconn Apple supplier coming to Wisconsin. Ryan's Priebus played a huge role in that. The president did not mention his name, so there have been signs along the way. They have been on the outs. But we reported earlier today, Wolf, that the children of the president, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner, his son-in-law, in particular, among others, were urging the president to make a move here. So this is something that... Uh, was uh, you know, in the works for a while, but boy, Wolf, taking everyone by surprise here at the White House, particularly his choice. But he did praise him during that speech in Long Island. He praised the Homeland Security Secretary, John Kelly. Um, it it does stood out a little bit how he was sort of calling him out, but not all that surprising, of course, in an immigration law enforcement speech, Wolf. But uh, the president, as we know, likes his generals. Uh, he has talked about that repeatedly. Now he has a general in the most important office here in the West Wing. We will see if that changes anything in terms of his governing style or indeed his agenda, Wolf. The uh, president naming a uh, retired General John F. Kelly, the Secretary of Homeland Security, to become the next White House Chief of Staff. Mark Preston, you're getting more information on uh, the background. What, what have we learned? Well, it's certainly a developing story right now, but what I've just heard from a source very close to Ryan's previous is that, in fact, he offered his resignation privately to the president yesterday. So he, uh, he had resigned yesterday, at least this is what I'm being told by somebody extremely close uh, to Ryan's Priebus. We saw him on the airplane today uh, with Anthony uh, Scaramucci, uh, which I'm not too surprised about, actually, because for Ryan's Priebus now to leave the White House, he's going to have to leave on good terms. But the fact of the matter is he's, he's leaving under a, a very dark cloud. Um, and if it is true, which I do believe it's true, that he did resign yesterday, at least in some ways, I guess some ways, he's going out on his own terms. Well, presumably the president did not want to uh, have him resign without having a successor Correct. ready to be announced at the same time. Right. So he's announcing John Kelly will, is, the new, is the new White House chief of staff, uh, giving up his cabinet position as the secretary of Homeland Security. Sarah Murray is back at the White House. She's getting some additional information. What else are you learning, Sarah? Uh, well, Wolf, I think it's very fascinating to hear early on from some people who are close to the president who are weighing in on this pick. Now, look, there are a lot of people who thought Ryan's Priebus was very, a very good fit for this job when Trump first came to the White House. They felt like he needed a political hand at his side, uh, someone who knew Washington. And even those people had really begun to sour on Priebus in the last few weeks and feel like someone else needed to be in that job. So uh, in talking to some of them just now, they feel like the John Kelly pick is perhaps exactly what President Trump needs right now. They've point to the fact that he really respects the generals that he has had on his team so far. They feel like someone like Kelly could impose a little bit more order in this West Wing, that Trump may have a bit more respect for them and be more inclined to allow staff to sort of report to, you know, a general who is obviously going to have a, a more defined sense of protocol and regular order for these things. Now, I'm not sure if we have the sound, but President Trump did lavish praise earlier today on Kelly when he was in New York. Maybe we can play uh, just a part of that for you guys right now. I want to congratulate John Kelly, who has done an incredible job of Secretary of Homeland Security. Incredible. One of our real stars. Truly one of our stars. John Kelly is one of our great stars. So you heard him there uh, in some ways sort of forecasting the move that he was going to be making on the plane today. You know, John Kelly is walking into a very interesting situation here. We have not heard from Anthony Scaramucci, the newly minted White House communications director, on this staff shakeup, but it does seem like things have moved pretty quickly uh, over here since he joined the team. Wolf. Well, indeed, uh, David Chalian uh, is getting some additional information as well. Uh, David, what else are you learning? Well, uh, just uh, building off of what you just heard Mark Preston say about the timeline here, if the resignation uh, indeed came yesterday from Ryan's Priebus, 
clearly he was in to some degree about the rollout here, uh, Wolf. And I and uh, while this is a surprise Friday evening development for many people, he obviously was doing his best all day to act like he was doing his job, even though he had uh, privately given the resignation to the president a day before. I think it can't be stated enough that how many people inside the president's inner circle uh, feel that John Kelly is a calming force, that he is, uh, you just heard the president there call him a star in the administration, but uh, the president's son-in-law, the advisors inside the West Wing, these b believe that John Kelly has sort of been a calming force in this administration, and clearly that is what the president thinks he needs right now. You don't make a big change like this unless you are conceding that what you had isn't working. And now he said Reince Priebus has accomplished a lot, but it is hard in this six-month mark of this administration to see what is working well. And so shaking it up is one part of how you go about fixing that. The other factor to remember, though, is John Kelly is now coming into a position where he still has a president who acts out on Twitter, who has impulses that seem to be at odds with the administration's desired message goals on a given day. Uh, it, is, it is not at all clear that the president by putting John Kelly in the in the chief of staff office, is all of a sudden promising a change in his own behavior. And it is that behavior that has caused the most chaos and distraction from the mission at hand uh, for this administration. Jeff Zeleny is over at the White House uh, getting some more information. Uh, Jeff, uh, what else have you learned? Well, Wolf, we've been watching those uh, pictures there of the president uh, holding in the umbrella, walking to the wing of the plane there, and you are uh, wondering aloud here, what he was doing, he was actually uh, uh, answering a question from a group of uh, pool reporters who were there on the plane. And Wolf, uh, well, uh, um, I can read to you what he said. This is coming from the pool reporters on the plane. He said, Ryan's is a good man. John Kelly will do a fantastic job. General Kelly has been a star, in the president's words, done an incredible job thus far. Great, great American, respected by everybody. He's done a great, great job. Ryan's Priebus is a good man. So, Wolf, again there, the president is, in his own words, summing up his decision uh, this evening. Uh, but again, as David Chalian uh, um, was reporting and others were saying here, uh, for all the staff changes here at the White House, and there are likely to be more of them coming, this is an inflection point at this uh, six-month mark and a little bit more of this presidency. One person, of course, will not change. That's the person in the Oval Office, Wolf. So a new chief of staff, of course, will change, you know, can certainly help organize and, and redirect leadership. But the president, uh, of course, is staying the same. And all the challenges of the Russia investigation and everything else that has frustrated him so remain the same here. So this new chief of staff, uh, who we believe will start next week, will certainly has his work cut out for well, him. Certainly. The president will need to nominate a new secretary of Homeland Security now, Indeed. as well, who will need uh, Senate confirmation. Uh, so now we know why the president walked back once he deep plane, got on right. the tarmac, walk back to speak to a pool of reporters. Uh, we're going to hear that sound momentarily from the President of the United States. Gloria Borger is with us as well. You've been checking with your sources. Well, Gloria, what else are you well, learning? Well, I, I want to say, Wolf, that starting last night, we began to get uh, wind that something that something was going on. This was following the Anthony Scaramucci uh, attack, right. uh, the interview that he granted Ryan Liz right. of the New Yorker, who is also, who also with us also right now, right. Uh, in which he really leveled he really went right. after Rice Priebus. And there was, you know, Rice Priebus had not been getting a show of support exactly from the president or from the podium uh, at the White House. And we began to be uh, hearing this and also hearing that there, that perhaps General Kelly would be considered uh, as a replacement. I heard that from a, from a good source of mine. Um, I also heard from a source that uh, people were talking to Rice Priebus who were friends of his and were telling him, you know, this is the time for you to go. Um, there were other people who were saying to Ryan, you know, hang on now because maybe Scaramucci will be gone in a while if you want to get involved in that. But it was clear that he did not enjoy the support from the president of the United States. We got a lot of pushback uh, on behalf of uh, Ryan's previous from people who were saying this is not happening. He is not ready to leave. But I was also told last night that the president made his decision, that it was difficult for, for him to do it, as we know that he doesn't like to fire people, but that he had lost confidence, and that also, uh, and my colleagues at the White House were hearing this as well, as well that Jared and Ivanka were also uh, pushing for this. I think we now 
have to look and see if another shoe falls. We have to be looking to see what happens to Steve Bannon uh, inside this White House now, because that is another name that is being thrown around as somebody who might, in fact, be vulnerable uh, at this point. And, um, you know, I think that Bannon and Reince Priebus have established a kind of an uneasy alliance uh, in the White House over these past months. And so now you have to ask if Reince Priebus is gone, what happens uh, What happens to Steve Bannon? In that interview that Scaramucci gave you, Ryan, Lisa, he said, I'm looking at the article you wrote, he reiterated that Priebus, Reince Priebus would soon resign. And now he very, it's over. He was very clear about that, um, that he would be gone um, imminently. And look, you, you, once once those remarks were out in public, mm. I think could I mean could really the two of them stay in that White House, no. right? Could Scaramucci, who in that same interview talked about how Reince didn't get the message when when Scaramucci was uh, was the release on Scaramucci? I read the yeah, quote God. he gave you. He said <laughs> he didn't get the hint. This is Scaramucci. He didn't get the hint that I was reporting directly to the president, because normally a, a communications director at the White House reports to the White House chief of staff. Exactly. And so Scaramucci was basically telegraphing in this interview that Reince is out, he didn't get the hint, and now we're going to have to do it the hard way. Um, I know people close to Reince are saying that he resigns, but clearly Scaramucci was saying, you know, the communications director on the record saying, he, exactly. he was going to be gone soon. And look, how could these two guys work together? And I, right? It just seems inconceivable well, that the two of them were going to remain. I was also told last night that what they were waiting for was that, that Reince was looking for what, what was called to me an elegant way to leave. Right. Yeah. And that he was, you know, he was looking for a way to, a place to jump to. But that didn't, that didn't appear. And I think at this point, particularly with the pressure from Scaramucci on behalf of the President of the United States, that, that Reince would, had no choice. Some of, his, some of Reince's uh, allies yesterday were saying maybe this Scaramucci interview gives him, gives him a little extra right, time because right. maybe it was so outrageous exactly. that it will make Trump think twice. Mm -hmm. Obviously not. This is Trump saying, I like what Scaramucci did. He certainly did. Go ahead. So it's just amazing right now that we've seen um, this ally from New York, because when we talk about different factions in the White House, there was the New York faction, the Jared, the Ivanka, um, and, and others, uh, Scaramucci being one of them, coming in as the wedge and knocking out the RNC slash establishment Republicans that had come in and basically were the backbone of the White House uh, in that whole operation. What's going to be interesting to see is who are Republicans on Capitol Hill now going to reach out to in that West Wing? Because there doesn't seem to be anybody of any real senior stature that Paul Ryan or, or, or Mitch McConnell can pick up the phone and call if they can't get the president Well, General himself. Kelly. It's going to be General... It it's right. going to be I, I, again, but you and I were talking about General Kelly earlier. You know about this, but he he is a politician in the sense of of, of military, but he's not a legislative congressional guy. And, but, and I just think well, let's well, let's get learn a little bit more about General Kelly right now. Retired General.